I was not expecting this. Alright everyone, welcome to another review for Barracketeer. So every two weeks this guy shows up and he starts selling us a whole bunch of Prime mods, right? sells us a whole bunch of prime mods and today we're looking at prime point blank prime fast hands prime morphic transformer prime ravage prime flow and prime regen now that sounds like a whole lot of mods to take thankfully only half of these are actually that useful uh the recommendation here would be to go for so i, I suppose an order of priority the ones that you would want to go after first would be Prime Flow, then Prime Point Blank, then Prime Ravage. These will give you the most immediate upgrades for your Warframe and for your weapons, especially if you're a shotgun user. And Prime Flow is great because it gives you mana regen, also allows you to play as a quick thinking build instead if you want to survive through your mana being your health pool rather than your health actually being your health pool and that's an alternative that some people like doing i personally don't employ the quick thinking with prime flow combination but it's it's an option you know uh, so prime point blank and prime ravage are good for shotguns because well pr point prime point blank is just well, it's just an upgraded version of Point Blank. It gives you almost twice as much damage. Prime Ravage gives you a little bit more crit damage. That's really hard to miss. It's, it's hard to miss out on. But these are good. Go ahead. Get these. These are fine. In the next order of priority, I would tell you you get Prime Regen. The reason why you would get Prime Regen is because you want to use this. You want to use this with a mod called Sacrifice. Oh, right. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you what Sacrifice is. But to explain what Prime Regen does, it allows your Sentinel to come back a little bit more often. Actually, three times as often. The normal regen doesn't do this at max rank. See, this is what happens with regen at max rank. It regenerates your sentinel once. The primed regen allows you to get your sentinel back three times. That's a 200% increase. That is amazing. Actually, no. Let's do over some more. Huh. Alright, whatever. But the combination here is that Sacrifice allows your Sentinel to come back and to res you. So this is important if you are, say, doing content where you know you'll be dying a lot. Maybe you're leveling up a weapon in Hydron. Maybe you're doing Mott as a survival and you want to go deeper than 25 minutes. Or maybe you can't even get 25 minutes in the first place normally. Here's what you do. You get Sacrifice, combine it with Prime Regen, so that way, use it with your Sentinel. Helios, Carrier, whatever. And the next two on the list I'd say are about equal priority, mostly because of the extremely small use cases. Maybe Prime Fast Hands a little more than otherwise. Prime Fast Hands is just reload speed. Prime Morphic Transformer. Uh, this will this will be useful on say weapons with weapons in the far extremes of reload. Either ones with really 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 long reloads or ones with really 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 short reloads. So say Vectus might use this because it's already so short. You want to get it down even further because you're greedy as shit. Prime Morphic Transformer is power strength for your arch wings and this mod is legitimately easier to get than the real morphic transformer so if you enjoy arch wing you can go ahead and get this but it's not really that big of an improvement i think uh, there's not too many use cases for this because arch wings you don't in the current state of the game you don't use arch wings for combat 
use it, use Itzel. And Itzel doesn't care about ability strength on his blink. Which is fine. It it does affect his floor, but don't, don't count on this. The other two weapons that show up are Prisma Tetra and Viper Wraith. Both of these, they're not very good. They're, they're not very good at all. They're for MR. They're, they're really good at giving you 3,000 MR. I'd say that's their role. That's a pretty good role. That's, that's, that's a role you, you should count on. The other two major items on here are Prisma Shade. This is really good for 9,000 MR. That's a compliment. And the last thing to really take a look at, well, you know, cosmetics. If you guys like cosmetics, you get the cosmetics. You'll, you'll know whether or not you have these. That's, there's, nothing to, there's nothing to question about here. Huh. Interesting. Wait a minute. I don't have this? Whatever. Let's see what the cosmetics look like. So these have been brought back before. Um, Prisma stuff. Looks alright. The last thing we want to really talk about here today is the Axie AT Relic. This is important because this brings us Aklex Prime Link, and this is the only way to get the link. There's no other way to get this, unless you trade it for with another player. There's no other way to get it. Actually, that's how most people get this item, is by trading it with someone else. But if you're short on... Axie relics, this would be a good time to stock up. Because these are cheap. 50 ducats. So, in order to. So, in order to priority again flow, then point blank, then ravage, then regen, then fast hands, then prime morphic transformer. We'll take a look at the. We'll take a look at the. Um, Take a look at the stock prices here on like the old ticker. So the first one we'll take a look at is Prime Ravage because that's the first one that I saw today. The last time that Prime Ravage show showed up, Prime Ravage showed up in December of 2018. Based on the maturation, this is probably not the best buy if you're looking into reselling. I personally didn't manage to sell any of these. And the price has only floated up to 74. And this is in the last 90 days. I, I haven't sold any of these. I haven't listed them. I didn't think the price was great enough. And as you can see, I got punished for it. I think I sold one. Uh, somehow I sold one? Wait, what? How do I not have 11? Alright, whatever. I only sold one. Ooh. Feels bad, man. Yikes. With the price, it didn't really go up that high. You really want something that can mature up to at least a hundred within within three or four months. Prime Ravage is not it. There's not there's quite a few shot there's quite a few crit shotguns in the game, but not enough to justify the resell. Forty eight hours. I guess some sold for 80. That's cool. Alright, moving on. Alright, let's let's just do this in order, yeah? I'm point blank. I didn't manage to sell any of these either. Oof. 40. That price drop. Yeah. So point blank is reasonably good to sell. made its way up to 
the hot, close to 100, maybe the 90s. The last time this item showed up was, was November 30th, 2018. It's currently May. So it's been almost six months since this item showed up. And the price got up to 100. This is, a, this is an alright buy. This is okay. It's, it's not the best, but if you want to buy a bunch of these to resell, it's not the worst thing in the world. I didn't manage to sell any of these. I didn't keep track. And I got punished for it. Find fast hands. Prime fast hands, 60. What? What? Wait. That's, that's the price before the reduction. This one, so Prime Fast Hands is an interesting case. You see all these spikes, which is largely due to low, low demand. Probably low supply, too. I don't think anybody in their right mind would consider this a good buy or a good sell. Within 48 hours, yeah, this is to be expected. So this is 5 o'clock this morning, 4 hours before Barrow showed up. It was, there was one cell. It was one cell for 70. You'd have to go back another day before you found another one that sold. And it sold for 90. <laughs> Volume 1. These, these don't sell very quickly. This Prime Fast Hands, not a great investment. No, I would not argue that at all. Uh, that's the trend for the two days. This is the trend for the 90 days. So due to the low volume of cells, it's spiky as hell. I wouldn't invest into this, and it seems like the market understands that as well. Prime Morphic Transformer. Price probably hasn't crashed bottomed out yet. Oh, who's the poor sap that bought this for 160? Yikes! This is pretty low volume too, but it's not nearly as spiky as Prime Fast Hands. There's some people who really like the mod, but there's only so many use cases for it. Oh, whoa, is that a 92? Is that a 92 I saw? Wow. Yikes. Median 92. How fun do you got scammed? My lord. Topped out at 85? When does this last show up? Morphic Transformer last showed up November 30th. Oof. Yeah, this is not a good buy either for investment. You don't care about plot for the from coming from this one. Prime Regen though. Last showed up December 14th. see here. Uh, nope. Wait. Buyer. Oh, rank 10 out of 10. Ha! <laughs> Silly me. Prime regen. This one didn't mature that much either. It got up to 100 after 6 months. That's not the best. That's not the best at all. For such a niche use, it really is a good mod, though. Whoa, who's the poor sap that bought this for 170? He must have just watched the video. <laughs> yeah, this got up to 100 last night. It's pretty good. But these are not going to be easy to sell in bulk. That's unfortunate. And I guess the last one, Prime Flow. Oof. I got burned. I got burned. Yeah, price 20, quantity 30. This guy, this guy's a real baller because you don't even make up the do the cost in plat, you do cats. I'm not gonna. Oof, this guy. I was selling these for about 100 bef a few days ago, but these are not the fastest sells. Well, actually, they are very fast sells. The problem is that the people who want to buy them, this is usually going to be 
in my personal experience, this is usually their first primed mod that they try to buy. And so they don't realize that there's a 1 million credit tax for all primed mods. So usually what happens, they get invited, they don't have enough credits, then they have to leave. And then, they just, and then half of them don't understand why, and the other half, oh, well, I've never done this before. I understand. I'll have a million credits. I'll come back, they say. They never come back. So you see there's not a whole lot of variance with this mod. This one peaks out at 110, even after 90 days. I think people, whether they realize it or not, they understand that this one's not nearly as volatile as some of the other mods because there's such high supply and such high demand. And the volume numbers back that up as well. 60 sold in a day. Typically, there's closer to 10 or 20 sold in a day. Median slowly rising. One from 75 three months ago. But this came back recently. This came back very recently. The two times it came back before this, there had been a period of more than six months since it last showed up. Yeah, here you go. The last time this showed up was December 14th, 2018. The time before that was March. So I would ex have expected flow to stay on a six or nine month cycle, but apparently it's coming back every four. So I'm not sure if you really want... There was a time when you wanted to invest into these. Not not so much anymore. I only managed to sell 10 personally. I had 50. Now I only have 40. So, Prisma Tetra, Viper Wraith. You can buy these items if you want, but they're probably not going to be worth anything. I mean, I can double check for you. Prisma Tetra. I expect the price to bottom out. 40? Hmm. I'm not going to argue that this is a good buy. This is the 90 day spread. Peaks out at 80 median price. One do, one for sap bought this for 140. Oh lord. You know, these don't sell very well at all. Viper Wraith. Probably not much better. 45. Let's check the stats. Huh. That's a surprisingly smooth curve up. Oh. 100. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. When did that last show up? January. Ooh, not bad. But it's a weapon. I'm not sure about that. Who is the idiot that bought it for one, 180? Well, I understand the volatility thing, but yikes. Yikes. Ugh. Not the best haul for resell. Great haul for usability, though. Especially this A2 Relic. I'm going to buy a bunch of these as soon as I grind stuff into Ducat Dust. But, let's see here. Axie A2. When did that last show up? December! Hmm. That's pretty good. Hey, 3-day affinity booster. If you really hate spending plot on stuff, I guess it's alright. Since Renaros, it's always a good buy. But, I think that's the end of it for today. I guess projections. What showed up after January? What was the one after December and January? If we're going to look at anything? Wow. Mara de Tron. Ooh. But that got brought back two weeks ago. Hmm. Prime Slip Magazine. Yo, Prime Slip Magazine didn't show up. That might show up two weeks from now. <laughs> hey, the Daedalus stuff all came back. Nice. Machete. Oh, no. Machete Wraith came back last week. Oof. Wait, Prisma Shade came back in March? What? Huh? Alright.
January 25th. So, the pistol mutation mods now January. Okay, so ignore those. That's probably not on the. That's probably not next on the rotation. Prime Bane of Infested. Ooh, consider that showing up next week. Ooh. Slip Mag and Prime Bane of Infested. Ooh. That's not a good. That's not looking forward to a good week either. Pretty sure everything from November has showed up already. Yeah. Prisma Obex showed up in March. You know. So. Expect Mara to Tron soon. I guess my prediction for the next week would be Mara to Tron, Prime Bane Mods, and Prime Slip Magazine. Alright guys, see you later.